Hi everyone, I'm Anand Sitara, Assistant Professor in the Computer Science Department at SUNY Binghamton. In this work, we study the socio-economic impact of COVID-19 in the United States during the early days of the pandemic. This is joint work with my students, Swarup Gautra, and my colleague, Professor Arthi Ramesh. Now, as infections continue to soar, people took to Twitter to express their opinion. So in this work, we collect half a million tweets by looking at COVID-related hashtags during the first two weeks of the pandemic, roughly between March 10th and March 24th. We methodically collect these tweets and we group these hashtags by six categories, namely general COVID, quarantine, lockdown, panic buying, school closures, and frustration and hope. This table provides an overview of some of the hashtags in the various categories. We observe calls for quarantining, social distancing, and lockdown of schools and cities. We also see that there are hashtags related to panic buying, as well as ones expressing frustration and hope. This figure shows the top trending hashtags in our dataset. We observe that the general COVID hashtags and the hashtags asking people to quarantine and socially isolate themselves have the highest number of tweets. We next study the temporal evolution of the hashtags. We observe that the general COVID and quarantine related hashtags remain popular throughout the three weeks of the pandemic. In comparison, panic buying and demands for closure of schools peak during the middle of March and then slowly decrease. We conduct a linguistic word usage analysis across the different hashtag groups. We identify the most commonly used words across the hashtags. To this end, we remove the words similar to the hashtags, the stop words and the common words across all hashtags. We show that the results for the panic buying and the school closure categories in this slide. For school closures, we observe that the words such as teacher, schedule, educator, book and class are the top words. Similarly, for the panic buying category, the stop words mostly resonate with the shortages experienced by people during this time, such as roll and tissue, hoard and bidet. Interestingly, bidet shows that people are exploring alternate options. In this slide, we present some of our qualitative results. In our study, we observe words such as family, health, death, life, work, help, thank, and others occurring across hashtag groups. We present some notable example tweets containing the common words. While one may think that health refers to the virus-related health issues, we notice that many people also refer to mental health in their tweets as a possible consequence to social distancing and anxiety caused by the virus. We also observe the usage of words such as death and crisis that indicate the seriousness of the situation. In this work, we studied the socioeconomic impact of COVID-19 in the United States during the early days of the pandemic. We are currently working on improving this work by conducting a fine-grade topic and sentiment analysis. Thank you for watching.